Uh, and welcome to another quick video about Star Citizen. At the moment, the Star Citizen telemetry page is not currently showing the full range of details across a variety of systems. From what I'm seeing online, it seems that performance is down across the board in Star Citizen in this current patch. Um, I assume this is down to the increased playable game area more NPCs, more things to interact with in game, that whole player inventory system, I reckon it probably takes a lot on the processor um, to be able to process that logic because you notice there is a massive, um, well for me anyway, there is a massive delay in between trying to interact with something and between my character actually picking something up, so I think that's another performance issue that needs to be worked on. But performance has varied wildly um, since 3.5 and the introduction of OCS. It's generally started to move in an upward trend, but I feel like there have been significant downs. Some of these being when they first introduced ArcCorp and performance was quite low for me, and when they first introduced New Babbage which was in the previous patch in 3.9 with the interiors anyway for now it seems that if you want decent performance in this game you'll need at least 6 gigabytes plus of VRAM a decent processor and looking at what the telemetry was saying for 3.8 it seems like that will net you the 30 plus frames that we're all generally looking for. I know some people see 40 as the limit, but um, I think realistically from an alpha especially, 30 plus frames is a good um, level to expect. The major issues at the moment seem to come from heavy RAM usage and instability. Now instability is something that we can't really do anything about, but the heavy RAM usage around the new Babbage area is very, very real. It's um, able or capable of using 6GB um, plus of RAM. I've heard people say crazy things like new Babbage going up to like 20 2 gigabytes of RAM, but that's probably people trying to play the game in 4K, which I can't really comment on because I play at a much lower resolution. I suspect it uses a significant amount of VRAM as well, but this game always has since 3.0 was introduced. Now, as someone who has gone from an 11 gigabytes system, um, I had odd RAM basically. I had um, two 8 gigabyte sticks, a 2 gigabyte stick, and a 4 gigs and a 1 gig stick, sorry. Bringing me to 11 in total. Which, um, yeah, was not very good for my system. I don't believe that I was getting the optimal use of my dual channel motherboard. And having upgraded to 16 gigabytes of 133, I can say for definite that the game runs extremely smoothly now. Um, significantly more smooth than it did before. Um, not saying that I'm getting crazy frames per second suddenly, but what I'm saying is that the instability, the jutteriness, those freeze ups that made the game hell to play seem to be all but gone and when they do rear their ugly head they seem to be a lot less harsh, a lot quicker and a lot more easy to deal with basically. I will link in the description a video that goes into further detail about um, the upgrade, the 8 to 16 gigs, just so that you can get a bit more information about it yourself before you go out there and purchase any RAM but if um, there was any upgrade that I would suggest at the moment, it would be that if you have eight gigabytes or below of RAM, grab yourself 16, basically. 
and hopefully that will increase the performance or fix any performance issues that you're having at the moment. If you watched this video, thank you very much. Um, please like and subscribe. Take it easy.